Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between gas metal arc welding and submerged arc welding. Gas metal arc welding is one fusion welding process where the electric arc is established between a consumable wire electrode and the base plates. Gas metal arc welding electrode is consumable, that means the electrode itself melts down and deposits on the weld bead to supply filler metal. Submerged arc welding is also one fusion welding process based on consumable electrode. Here also a wire electrode is continuously fed into the welding zone from a spool. So, let's look into the basic differences between gas metal arc welding and submerged arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In gas metal arc welding, either inert or active shielding gas is supplied for the protection of the hot weld metal. No flux is required. Whereas, in submerged arc welding, no shielding gas is supplied here. Instead, granular flux is supplied to shield the hot weld metal through slag formation. Number 2, in gas metal arc welding, no slag formation occurs over the weld metal, as there exists no flux in this process. Whereas, in submerged arc welding, the granular flux melts due to arc heat, and subsequently produces slag that floats over the weld metal. Number 3. In gas metal arc welding, the arc between the electrode and workpiece is surrounded by a gaseous medium, or shielding gas, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the arc remains surrounded by a liquid medium, or molten flux. Such denser medium helps constricting the arc. Number 4. In gas metal arc welding, arc intensity and heat density are relatively lower. This is because the arc remains exposed, so there is more heat loss, and the arc is less constrict as it forms in air column, whereas, arc intensity and heat density are comparatively higher in submerged arc welding owing to constricted and submerged arc. Number 5. Gases supplied for shielding in gas metal arc welding are vented out of the room to mix with atmospheric air. No part of supplied shielding gas can be recovered, whereas, in submerged arc welding, a part of the granular flux remains intact. The unused flux can be recovered and reused. Number 6. The arc remains exposed in gas metal arc welding process, whereas, in submerged arc welding, arc as well as the welding zone remains buried under the thick layer of slag and granular flux. Number 7. In gas metal arc welding, the arc and molten metal pool can be observed from outside. So it offers better visibility of the arc and welding zone during the welding, whereas, in submerged arc welding, the arc and molten pool cannot be observed from outside as these are buried under the thick layer of flux. Number 8. Spatter formation is inherent to gas metal arc welding process. Such weld spatter causes loss of costly filler metal, whereas, submerged arc welding process is free from spatter formation. So there is no loss of filler metal in the form of spatter. Number 9. Filler metal deposition rate is comparatively lower in gas metal arc welding, whereas, submerged arc welding offers high volumetric filler metal deposition rate. Number 10. Relatively less penetration, in the order of 3.5 mm per pass, is obtained by gas metal arc welding process, whereas, deeper penetration, up to 10 mm per pass, can be achieved through submerged arc welding process. Number 11. In gas metal arc welding, edge preparation is desired for joining components having thickness more than 3.5 mm, whereas, in submerged arc welding, no edge preparation is required for joining components of thickness up to 10 mm. Number 12. Gas metal arc welding is relatively less productive and less economic, especially for joining of thicker sections, whereas, for filling thick and wide gaps, submerged arc welding is one highly productive and economic process. Number 13. Accessories such as gas cylinder, hose pipe, etc. are needed in gas metal arc welding, whereas, accessories such as flux hopper, roller guides, etc. are needed in submerged arc welding. Number 14. In gas metal arc welding. Personal protective equipment are strictly desired for welders, whereas, in submerged arc welding, lesser protections are desired as the arc remains submerged and invisible, and process is also free from spatter. And, difference number 15, gas metal arc welding can be applied in various welding positions, 
including high inclination, whereas, submerged arc welding is preferred for flat horizontal position only, 